This is a video about constructing equations and expressions. Take a look at page 39 in your workbook and I want you to go ahead and try this one before you watch the video. So if you want to just pause it for a moment and try the first couple and then start playing it and you can see how you do. For A, we are going to define a variable to represent the amount of vanilla the original recipe calls for. I'm going to use V just because that feels good. It's vanilla there. Um, but again, you can use any variable that you would like. So V represents the amount of vanilla in the original recipe. Then B asks us to write an equation to represent the known amount of vanilla in the original recipe. So I know that I have four teaspoons of vanilla extract. You made a double batch for the party you're hosting right as you're about to put them in the oven. You add one teaspoon more of vanilla. Now I'm going to do the same thing. And uh, well, first of all, I know that my equation is V equals four, four teaspoons of vanilla. And then I'm going to need to do my alterations here. So first of all, I need to double it two copies of that batch. So two V equals two times Four, so I'm going to get 2v equals 8 and then it says that I need to add that one teaspoon more so I'm going to say 2v plus 1 which now equals 8 plus 1. I end up with 2v plus 1 equals 9. For E and F you're going to see that I've already filled these in uh, so you can go ahead and check yours with mine. Uh, the expression would be 2V plus 1 and again V stands for the teaspoons of vanilla in the, that the original recipe called for. Again we already know what this is. V is 4 um, in this scenario. Then you look at F in this scenario changes. Now instead of ending up at 9 teaspoons I'm going to end up at 7 teaspoons. So this would be my equation that describes this situation. I hope you found this video helpful and now you're all set to try those practice problems in your lesson videos.